How do you fly fish for carp? Wow, I can't believe I get asked that question so much now because honest to God, 20 years ago, it was hard to find anybody that wouldn't snub their nose at the thought of catching a carp. Carp, why would I ever want to catch a carp? There's all those beautiful fish out there we call trout. But now, people want to fish for carp because they're waking up to the fact that they have a 20 pound fish living right near where they live. You can go to the local park, you can go down to one of the rivers, even if you live in a city and find carp. And I love fishing for carp, even though I'm from Idaho and some of the best trout fishing in the world. Surprisingly, you have the gear if you already freshwater fish with a fly rod, whether it's bass or trout, because I use a five or six weight rod for fly fishing for carp. And you're thinking, whoa, you just said 20 pound fish. Yeah, it's a challenge but I don't think you have to worry about fighting a carp too long on a light rod and worrying about him being sick or dying because you fought him too long because they're carp, they're hard to kill. The reason I use those lighter rods is because these fish are so darn spooky. And if I were to fish an eight or a nine weight rod, which would be an ideal size, that fly line crashes on the water harder than that of a five or a six weight and just the crash of the fly line sends that fish running, it's spooked. Five weight, six weight, you get that finesse. I use a floating line. Why? Because 90% of the carp fishing I do, in fact, 100% of what I like to do is actually sight fishing the carp, which means they're gonna be in shallow water, which means you're gonna have a fly line that is gonna be on the surface. You know, you wanna keep it in the zone where the fish are. And the leader I will match that up with would be about a nine foot for a 20 pound leader. Uh, that's because, you know, you can get away with that 20 pound tippet because the carp live in murky water most of the time. So your presentation, once the fly is going to the fish, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, super light stuff because they're probably not going to see it. If you are lucky and have a clear water carp situation, I still don't go lighter than about maybe 1X or 2X, which is, you know, pretty close to 16 pound test. Flies is where it gets crazy. And you're thinking, oh, am I going to have to go to the store and buy a bunch of new flies? No, because carp eat anything. They'll eat small minnows, they'll eat insects, they'll eat algae, they'll come to the surface and take grasshopper. So you have those flies, you just have to understand the mode they're in. And of course, I have favorite flies for carp. I, I like to sight fish a carp and then maybe throw a nymph at them. Sometimes I'll throw like a rubber leg hare's ear or red copper john, about a size 14, sometimes maybe a little bigger, 12. Uh, they also, they love bonefish flies. So if you've been on a bone fishing trip and you have some crazy Charlies or gotchas, or even better, a bonefish bit or something with a little bit of rubber legs on them, you drop that fly right in front of the fish, let it sink down into them, give it a little pull. A lot of times you get it to eat that. And uh, they do eat minnows. I've actually watched the carp eating baby bluegill one time. It's pretty incredible. So streamer imitations, but really good ones are clouds or minnows that get down the bottom and the hook point runs up and they love crayfish. And one of my favorite flies this summer, I've caught most of my carp on crayfish flies. So it's a matter of finding the carp and using the equipment I just told you about. And finding the carp takes a little practice. Try to spot the fish, try to look for muds. When they feed in the bottom, a lot of times they will stir up a little mud because they've just dug their face in there looking for something. So you see that puff of mud, it's a good place to see your fly. And hands down, my favorite way to find carp is when they're tailing. And a fish tailing is a fish that is in water that is shallower than the length of his body and he's feeding on bottom. And that will make your heart go crazy. Good luck fly fishing for carp.